Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Geometry Analysis tool. Let's go to Tools and scroll down to Geometry Analysis. We've got three sections here for analysis parameters, Insignificant Geometry, Sharp Angles, and Discontinuous Geometry. Under Insignificant Geometry, the Short Edges option refers to edges with very short length, the length parameter you define in this field here. Small faces are faces where all edges are below the value that you set here, 0 0.01 millimeters in my case. Next are sliver faces, and these are long, narrow faces, in other words, faces with a high aspect ratio length to width. We set the value again in the field below. The next control area sets the parameters to analyze sharp angles. We've got knife edges and knife vertices. So knife edges are edges with an acute angle that we specify in the value box below. I've got one degree listed. Knife vertices are vertices where the angle between two adjacent edges is acute. In our case, I've defined the value at one degree. The last control area manages discontinuous faces and edges, so those are faces and edges that are not adjacent. Once we set our parameters, we click Calculate. As you see, our results show no problems. Let's close the tool by clicking OK, and now let's go create a problem. I'm going to activate the Fillet command. I'll select this edge. Let's define a radius value of 0 0.01 millimeters. Tab to register and click OK to exit the tool. Let's run the Geometry Analysis tool again. Tools, Geometry Analysis. Let's click Calculate. And surely enough, we have a couple problems now, two knife vertices. When we select them in the results window, the callouts appear in the graphic area to let us know exactly where the knife vertex is. We have to zoom in real close to see what's going on. Let's zoom to Window. Here are the knife vertices. Now why are these a problem? Well, if you're doing a finite element analysis, for example, the mesh will be very dense in this area. Or if you're going to be using CAM, that's computer-aided manufacturing, geometry like this will cause you some problems. Let's cancel out of the geometry analysis by clicking the OK button and see how we can fix this problem. Let's zoom to fit and then edit our fillet. Right click, edit feature. Let's select these four edges. Click OK. And now let's run the analysis again. Tools, Geometry Analysis. We'll click Calculate, accepting these default settings here. And our problem is now solved. Analysis results display zero issues. OK, let's suppress Fillet 1. Right click and suppress. Let me bring up a cosmetic pattern that I created already. Let's see what kind of problems a geometry analysis uncovers here with this pattern. Tools, Geometry Analysis. Use the default settings and click Calculate. SOLIDWORKS is processing my request. Takes a bit longer because there's a lot of edges to look through now. And surely enough, we do have a few problems. Six short edges, two small faces, eight sliver faces. When I select the entity in the results window, it becomes highlighted in the graphic area. It's hard to see where it is at this zoom level, but the callout will point us right to it. We do have to zoom in closely to see the problem. Let's zoom to Window, make our Window selection, and in we go. OK, here it is. Before we fix it, we need to exit the Geometry Analysis tool. Now let's go to Insert, Select Faces, and select Delete. Let's select this problem face. Under the Options, Delete and Patch is already pre-selected, and that's a good one for us, so let's click OK. Now let's run the analysis again. Tools, Geometry Analysis. 
We didn't have any sharp angles, so I'm going to uncheck this option before I click Calculate. That'll speed up SolidWorks' calculation process. So the results tell us that we fixed one small face. Let's learn how to fix a sliver face. We'll select this face, face 1. Zoom in closely so we can see where the problem is exactly. Exit the tool. Now go to Insert on the main menu. Faces. Delete. We'll use the Delete and Patch option again. We see a preview. Let's click OK. Looks good. But let's run the analysis again to be sure. Tools. Geometry Analysis. Accept these parameters and click Calculate. So we can see how many sliver faces we've fixed. we fixed two of them. We've only got six left. Last thing here, if you want to create a report, click Save Report. This window you will recognize. To add specific views, you click on Options. You can use the Current View or Current and Specified Views. You can add and remove the views from this window. I'll just cancel out for now. This concludes our video about the Geometry Analysis Tool. In my next video, I'll give you a quick overview of the Utilities Report Manager.